Kia an area of low pressure is set to continue to bring heavy rainfall towards the eastern coast of the North Island, accompanying that strong winds as well. And those winds driving in high seas around the coast of Hawke's Bay and up in towards Tairafti. You can see as we head through the rest of Tuesday and in towards Wednesday, this low pressure system doesn't move too far away. The winds in a clockwise fashion around that low drive the rain on towards those eastern facing coasts of Hawke's Bay and Tairafti. And we are expecting some heavy rainfall, especially across those northern parts of Hawke's Bay and those inland and higher areas. So we have got some severe weather watches and warnings in place, both in terms of heavy rainfall and those strong winds as well. Now, as that rain pushes in as we head through the daytime, you can see quite extensively across that eastern coast, we could find as much as 100 millimetres of rainfall. The heaviest rain, though, likely to be in those areas north of State Highway 5, that, Nap that Taupo to Napier Road, up towards places like, like Waikawa Moana, where we could find as much as 180 to 240 millimetres of rainfall. Of course, that will feed in towards rivers as well, so do take extra care and extra caution as we head through the next couple of days. That heavy rain is sitting with us as we go through in towards Wednesday. So we have severe weather warnings stretching all the way from Hawke's Bay up in towards Tairafti, with the rain lasting longest across those northern parts of Hawke's Bay, with this watch running right the way through to about 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Elsewhere, we should find the, the rain easing off as we head in towards Wednesday afternoon, but still some showers to watch out for. But that rain continues to feed through, being pushed in by those southeasterly winds. So here's that low pressure, and you can see those winds are wrapping around that. The colors here are giving a good indication of the strength of the winds as we head through this afternoon. The purple colors are showing those gale force winds through parts of, say, Tairafti, particularly up over the hills and around those exposed coastal fringes. But we could well find across many parts of that region gusts of around about 120 kilometers an hour. So it is going to be a very windy story as we head through the afternoon on Tuesday from about 2 p.m. right the way through the night in towards those early hours of the morning for Wednesday. So combine that with the uh, heavier rainfall and those stronger winds, a very unsettled few days to come. And the other thing to watch out for, well, that wind will help to generate some high seas around our coastal areas. It waves up to around about six meters, not out of the question around this Tairafti coast. Again, especially as we head through the nighttime, Tuesday in towards Wednesday. Combine those uh, high seas with high tide. That's our most at-risk period as we go through the nighttime. But definitely something else to watch out for, especially for those coastal communities around this eastern coast. Now, we are looking at these, uh, this amount of rainfall causing things like streams and rivers to rise rapidly. Could well find some surface flooding. And as ever, do take extra care and extra caution on the roads, especially with those stronger winds around as well for high-sided vehicles. So do take extra care, keep up with the forecast, and especially with all the information on those severe weather watches and warnings. And you can find all of that information at metservice.com.